let's talk about the reps that you don't get. Let's talk about the reps that you miss. Let's talk about the reps that are the most important in any given set. And they are the hard ones, not the easy ones. Uh, you don't grow or change or get stronger from reps that are easy for you to do. You grow and change and stimulate uh, your strength by the hard reps, the difficult reps, the challenging reps. The easy reps that you get in a set, in any given set, are you can already do them, right? You, you, they're, they're easy enough to do without challenge. So there's no drive for the body to change. It is the hardest reps that are the ones that are the most growth producing. So having said that, if we look at a set of 10, uh, I think we could agree that you, you get more out of the last three in the set than you do the first three. The first three are easy. The last three are hard. You're going to grow from the hard ones, the ones you barely make. You just barely eke out. And what I'm going to submit now is that even the reps you miss, and especially the reps you miss, can be the greatest stimulus for change and training. Uh, the idea here is that you are not going to just miss a rep and quit. You're going to miss the rep and continue to try to accomplish the rep. So what I mean by that is that if you're doing seven repetitions and you can barely get the sixth one, you try the seventh one anyways, and you give it your best shot. And you may not make it. It may not eke out, so it doesn't quote-unquote count. You don't get to write it down in your book. But it's not a waste of time. It's not a miss per se, because if you struggle to get it, if you work and work and work and try then it will cause change. If you begin to push the seventh rep and you immediately quit and say, oh, I can't get it, and you stop sending the signal, and you just say, take it, take it off me, that's not really training. But if you attempt to get the seventh rep and you push and push and push, and you try and try and try, even though it's stalled out, the longer you try, the longer you attempt to get it, even though you know you're not going to get it. It's not going, but you're going to try to get it anyways. That sends the signal to the body that this guy is going to keep this up, and I better make a change. I better adapt to this, because he really wants to get this. Whereas if you just push and you, you realize you're not going to get it, and you just immediately stop, that's not really training. So I've adopted an adage uh, that I like to use, and I say trying is training. Trying is training. You can train yourself by getting reps, but you can also train yourself by trying to get reps that you can't quite get. So they're not a waste of time. It's not, it's nothing to call a catastrophe if you miss a rep in a set. If that happens and you're, you're in your training cycle and you know what you're supposed to hit and you miss one, at that moment, don't give up so soon on it. As it misses, and as you realize you're not going to make it, keep trying to push or pull it. Keep going for it. Keep telling the body, we've got to do this. Even though you know full well it's not going to happen today, with this stimulus, it could happen tomorrow or next week. If you just quit and say, this isn't happening, I'm not going to waste my energy, take it off me. That won't train you. That's not trying, and that's not training. But attempting to push through it, even though you know you can't, the attempt will cause a change. It will cause an adaptation. So you don't have to get every rep in your set and rep scheme to get stronger. The reps that are most valuable are the ones that are hardest. And I will submit that the hardest of all are the ones you can't do. The ones that you can't quite make. They're the hardest ones. The ones that you barely make, they're pretty hard. Yeah. 
But the hardest ones are the ones that you try and try and try until one day you don't fail and you get that rep, et cetera, et cetera. So when you're training, think about the value of the missed rep. And my advice is to not quit so soon on it because it can still be a rep that trains you. As you start to miss it, keep trying. And you'll be trained because trying is training.